In a galaxy that had seen too much caffeine and not enough sleep, the star skipper known fondly as the Galactic Guppy coughed its way through the cosmos. Its pilot, a human with the unlikely name of Vinny, had a grin plastered on his face as wide as the Milky Way. Beside him sat his co-pilot, an alien who looked like a love child between a cactus and a squid, going by the equally improbable moniker of Barky. Vin, old pal, are you entirely certain the galactic guppy is going to make it? Barky mumbled, his tentacles fiddling with a seat belt that seemed more decorative than functional. And remind me again why we're headed to Glittertown. The name itself screams of a headache in waiting. Vinny tapped the dashboard of the wombat affectionately, sending a shower of sparks cascading down like a particularly hazardous firework display. Barky, my tentacled friend, you worry too much. The wombat is more than her rusty exterior suggests. She's got guts. And Glitter Town? That's where the party's at. Also, a certain shiny gadget called the Shimmering Tarantula. Barky's tentacle paused mid-fiddle. Isn't that the thing on a jig that's supposed to be the bee's knees for tech heads? Thought it got snatched during the hoopla at K-9 Station. That's the one. But my gut tells me it's tucked away nice and snug in Glitter Town, probably waiting for us to swing by and scoop it up. There's a fella there who owes me a favor, and he's got the inside scoop. The galactic guppy buzzed with the tension of a kazoo as it skimmed the atmosphere of the planet known for its raging nightlife and questionable moral compass. Glitter Town emerged below a pulsating mix of neon and noise that would put any self-respecting disco ball to shame. Vinny maneuvered the wombat through a sea of airborne billboards advertising everything from the best place to get a tattoo to the worst place to lose your credits. They touched down with a bounce and a screech that made Bark Barky wrapped his tentacles around his midsection. This place assaults the senses like a bad karaoke night. Vinny slapped Barky's back, or at least where he thought his back might be. Stick with me, buddy. We'll have the shimmering tarantula in our mitts before these space cowboys know what's hit them. Easy peasy. They set off into the heart of Glitter Town, passing by establishments with names like the Gurgling Gravitas and Starlight Soiree. The streets were a carnival of creatures and characters, each more colorful and less clothed than the last. Vinny was in his element, greeting passers-by with a familiarity that suggested a backstory too lengthy and scandalous to delve into. Barky trailed behind, trying not to step on any appendages that weren't his. The air was electric with the promise of a good time or a swift pickpocketing, depending on your luck. Their journey took them to a dive bar called the Nebula's Naval, where the drinks were strong and the patrons were a blur. Vinny's contact turned out to be a chap named Twinkle Toes, a being made entirely of shimmering light with feet that never stopped moving. Vinny, my man, didn't expect to see you in this neck of the cosmos. Twinkle Toes boogied over, each step a miniature light show. Just passing through, TT, Vinny said with a wink. We're on the hunt for the shimmering tarantula. Heard it might be hiding under a rock around here. Twinkle Toes dimmed slightly, a sign of seriousness. The tarantula, huh? Last I heard, Ziggy the Slick had his mitts on it. But getting to it won't be a moonwalk. He's holed up in the glitz pit and that place is tighter than a supernova. Vinny's grin didn't waver. Tighter the squeeze, sweeter the juice. We'll wrangle it. The glitz pit was Glitter Town's most notorious club, a place where the floors stuck to your feet and the ceiling dripped with enough glam to drown a small planet. Ziggy the Slick was a legend in these parts. The club was a riot of light and sound, each beat of the music a pulse that set Vinny's heart racing. Barky, for all his alien stoicism, couldn't help but be caught up in the rhythm, his tentacles swaying to the beat. They spotted Ziggy holding court in a VIP booth that floated above the dance floor like a throne. His entourage was a motley crew of the galaxy's most unsavory characters, 
all draped in jewels that screamed stolen. Vinny leaned over to Barky. I'll sweet talk, Ziggy. You play backup. If things go pear-shaped, create a diversion. Barky nodded, his tentacles tensing like springs. Vinny approached the throne with the confidence of a man who knew his way around a con. Ziggy, baby, long time no swindle, he greeted. Ziggy, a slick humanoid with skin that reflected the club's lights like a mirror ball, turned his gaze to Vinny. Vinny, what cosmic wind blew you in? Just looking for a dance, Zig, Vinny said, sliding into the booth. But I hear you've got the ultimate party favor, the shimmering tarantula. Ziggy's smile faltered, his eyes narrowing. That's a rare treasure, Vin, not something you just hand over for a pretty smile. Vinny leaned in. What if I told you I've got something worth trading? Something that'll make the tarantula look like a kid's toy? Interest flickered in Ziggy's eyes. I'm listening. Vinny was about to spin the biggest yarn of his life when Barky, true to his word, sent a tentacle sweeping through a nearby table of drinks. The resulting clatter and spillage drew the attention of Ziggy's crew, their eyes momentarily off their boss. Vinny seized the moment, his hand darting to Ziggy's pocket where the outline of the tarantula shimmered. With a slate of hand that would make a magician weep, he swapped the device for a worthless trinket. Ziggy, none the wiser, was still contemplating Vinny's non-existent offer. All right, Vin, bring this wonder to me, and we'll talk. Vinny stood up, backing away with a grin. You won't regret this, Zig. I'll be in touch. He grabbed Barky's arm, or what he hoped was his arm, and they made their escape, zigzagging through the pulsating crowd. Once they were back aboard the galactic guppy, Vinny held up the shimmering tarantula, its lights twinkling like a star about to go supernova. Barky let out a low whistle. Vin, I don't know whether to be impressed or terrified. Vinny just laughed, slapping the dashboard of the wombat. Buckle up, Barky. Let's see what this baby can do. With the tarantula in their possession, the galactic guppy blasted out of Glittertown's atmosphere, leaving behind a trail of sparkling debris and the echo of a heist that would become legend. As the stars blurred into the streaks of hyperspace, Vinny turned to his friend with a conspiratorial glint in his eye. Next stop, Barky, the edge of the universe, after all, we've got a tarantula that can weave the fabric of space-time. Let's go make some waves. And with a roar that shook the cosmos, the galactic guppy and her unlikely crew set forth to carve their names among the stars, one ludicrous adventure at a time.